It begins as a whisper. A promise. The lightest of breezes dances above the death cries of 300 men. my brothers of sacrifice. A wind of freedom. A wind of justice. A wind of vengeance. off, I have to say I'm pretty impressed that trailer is so long, yet doesn't give away the whole movie. That's been a common complaint a lot of us have been having lately, where you watch the trailer and you're like, I just watched a two minute cut down version of the film. But I think that this trailer was really successful in that it gave you a lot and showed you the different tones of the film, uh, while not giving away the whole movie. For instance, like the beginning showed like the epicness, and I think it really, I kind of, I think that right away they, they, uh, reassure you that even though Zack Snyder isn't personally directing the film, he's just producing it, it still ha very much is in the same tone of 300. Very successfully, it's able to recapture that and truly feel feels like the same universe. Uh, and then I think they slowly introduce their characters. I will be seeing this just for Eva Green alone. I'm a big Eva Green fan. I want to see her succeed. Uh, I like Lena Headey too. Uh, I, I didn't like her. I, I know when I, when I went to see the original 300, uh, when she stabs that guy at the end, I will always remember it because a woman in the front of the theater, uh, it was very packed, crowded theater, this woman just stood up and was like, yeah, and like really cheered it on. And it was, you know, it was so funny to see that uh, and so unusual that I, it's always stuck out in my mind about that movie. Uh, but uh, I do like Lena Heading very much on Game of Thrones. I think she's really come into her own since 300, which really kind of uh, revived her career or actually took it to a level it's never been before and uh, I think enabled her to get Game of Thrones. So I'm excited that she gets to return here as well. But I, so I like the addition of more women to this uh, to this, to this movie here, to this story. But the male characters still look really awesome too. I think 300's trump card is its stylization, its heavy stylization, and I think that's still shown here. And then at the end of the trailer, they really, really quickly are, remind you and also assure you that there's gonna be a lot of action, a lot of good fight scenes. And that looked really cool too. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm really happy with what I see here. I'm really impressed with this director. His name is No Murrow. It's like the only other thing he's directed is smart people. Uh, you know, he had very little information about him available online. I'm going to have to dig a little deeper because I know that he was up for Die Hard, uh, Good Day to Die Hard, but he turned it down so he could do 300 Rise of an Empire. And I don't know anybody would be, I don't know why a studio would be fighting over the guy who directed Smart People, this little small indie film that has no special effects. But uh, whoever picked him knew what they were doing because I'm really impressed. And I will say, I saw some people talking about, oh, more green screen. But, you know, that's kind of what 300 is. It's, it's heavily green screened, and you have to green screen it to get the kind of 
stylized environment I'm talking about here. And also, I will say, I think some of the wire work was a little obvious. And that cool shot when that guy uh, jumps off the cliff, the edge of the cliff with his sword down below, I think for just a second when he kind of like changes direction or changes his, his uh, body angle, it's, it's unnatural. It's, you know, it seems like he's on a wire or, or it's somehow computer affected. And, you know, I think for something like that, I mean, just get the guy to jump off something really big from a high, you know, angle and green screen him. So I think they have to be, they have to watch that. But it looks good. Uh, what do you think of this? Are you, if, if Gerard Butler isn't there, no sale for you? Or do you think they have some suitable replacements? I'm glad they got that one guy back, though, that guy with all the jewelry on. So they have, they have the kind of their uh, continuation. So I'm excited. The only thing that gives me pause is that this film has been delayed a year. This, you'll notice this isn't coming out until 2014. Uh, that's always kind of scary. But as has been mentioned recently, you know, that, that delay did not hurt. Um, uh, Shutter Island, and it didn't hurt G.I. Joe Retaliation, because they just re-signed John Chu to direct the third film. So sometimes when they wait, it's embarrassing, but it ends up being worth it in the end. So we'll see. So write your thoughts down below, and thank you for coming to be on the trailer, not just for the latest trailers, but these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.